the G9, goes on sale in January, is a source of energy focused on fixed images of a digital camera built mostly with the same architecture as the GH5. It uses the same micro four-thirds sensor of 20.3 megapixels, has mechanical stabilization of 5-axis image as the GH5, and Panasonic is using the same image processor, although it has been adjusted for better performance of still images than the GH5. The rest of the camera, from the new body shape to the name, seems that Panasonic has ripped a page from Sony's recent playbook. The G9 has a weather-resistant magnesium alloy body with a deep grip that feels a lot like the Sony A9 with its similar name or the A7. He is also a brother focused on still images of a video camera first, imitating the relationship between the A7R and the A7S. There are also similarities in the details, starting with the electronic viewfinder, which has the same robust resolution of 3.68 million points as the GH5 but has a 0.83x higher magnification compared to the 0.76x for the GH5. I spent a few minutes with the camera in an informative session last weekend, at first glance, the viewer competes with the great and beautiful EVFs found in the best Sony cameras. And just like the A9 that has the same resolution but has a slightly smaller 0.78x magnification, the G9's EVF has an update rate of 120 frames per second, which makes it more pleasant to look through it. If you look at the spec sheet, the G9 also looks like it can hang with Sony in certain performance-intensive configurations. In electronic shutter mode, the camera can take pictures in RAW or JPEG format at a dizzying speed of 60 frames per second with single-shot autophagus, or 20 frames per second with continuous autophagus. Panasonic promises that the G9 can achieve autophagus in just 0.04 seconds too, that it's back in the same class as Sony.